Actually, third to last. I get. Nope, that's second to last. And this will be the last one. So I know the video is already getting long, but I figured that you guys would want to see some of these. So this one's a word problem. So let me read the problem. Rita, Rita is saving up money for a down payment on a new car. She currently has $5,500. So she's got more money than I have in my pocket. But she knows she can get a loan at a lower interest rate if she can turn that $5,500 into $6,000. And no, she's not going to go to the casino. <laughs> if she invests her $5,500 in a money market account that earns an annual interest rate of 4.8%, and of course we know that we're going to write this as 0 0.048 as a decimal. How long will it take her to accumulate the $6,000? So uh, we want to know what, how long it's going to take, and her that's her annual interest rate, and it's compounded monthly. So n is equal to 12. So if we go back to our um, interest calculations, our formula for this guy looks like this. Uh, T is equal to the original amount or principal, one plus the rate divided by the number of, um, that's an R up here, sorry, uh, the number of compounding periods raised to the number of compounding periods times how many years she's going to have the investment. So let's fill this in. And principal five, oh, wait. How much money does she want it to have at the end? She wants to have 6,000, so our final amount should be 6,000. That's gonna be equal to the initial amount, or principal, times one plus the interest rate, 0 0.048, divided by the number of compounding periods, raised to the number, compound, number of compounding periods times the number of years, and that's what we're trying to determine, number of years. So we end up having an equation with one unknown. Now, before we would do some, we would divide both sides by 55, which we would do the same here. I don't think you have to right away, but it's fine. And I get 1 plus 0 0.048 divided by 12 raised to the 12t. Uh, actually, we couldn't do this problem before. I don't think we could do it uh, without this skill. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the natural log. Because remember, we're going to flatten this thing out by taking the natural log of both sides. Or log base 10 or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But this doesn't help us. This is some ugly base. So it doesn't really help us to choose anything else. So we're going to take the natural log of 6,000 divided by 5,000, which is going to equal the natural log of 1 plus 0 0.048 over 12 raised to the 12t. Now remember, I can write this exponent as a coefficient in front of the natural log. So I get this on the left, which we're not going to do anything further with for a little bit. And I get 12 times t times the natural log of 1 plus 0 0.048 over 12. Now, if I divide this side by 12, I'll be left with all of this, right? What if I use the highlighter thing? I'll be left with all of this, right? But if I divide it by 12 times the natural log of 1 plus 0 0.048 over 12, that's just a big, giant, ugly number. Do the same thing to both sides. So I got to do this over here on the left, 0 0.048 over 12. And that really just leaves the following, right? Uh, I think I can do this. Yeah. That leaves me with this, with just this, just the T, OK? That leaves me with just T. That didn't really, the highlight kind of stinks. That leaves me with just T. And then I would choose the blue that you can't see through the blue. <laughs> that leaves us with just T, right? So I'm going to have t is equal to all of this stuff over here. So uh, what is it? Natural log of 6,000 over 5,000 divided by 12 natural log of 1 plus 0 0.048 over 12. And if we put all of that into our calculator, I close the example on myself. We put all that in our calculator, we get 1.82 years. So she's got another, she's got to wait for just short of another two years before she'll have $6,000.